I was starting to feel hopeless to a degree. Like I said, overwhelmed is just more than, than we can keep up with to keep the costs as low. Nobody here really has the money if we were to raise costs to what we needed to do. It would literally put a whole lot of people over a limit where they would have to look for other arrangements. This is going to enable them to stay and, and, and still be safe. started between a conversation between Ken Irwin and myself at, Mo at Golden uh, Hills Mobile Home Park. Uh, we got talking about all the needs that were in this park that people could not address either with their skills or finances and we thought, you know, um, wouldn't it be neat if we could get some volunteers together and uh, set aside a day to start doing this. Didn't know where we were going to get the finances. And so I talked to all the local pastors here in town from all the different churches and just said, what would it look like for us to take the offering from our Buffalo Bill Days Together Church service and put it towards the materials to work at, Mo at the uh, Golden Hills Mobile Home Park? And they all said, let's, that's a great idea. Let's do it. So last year we, uh, we had the service, raised an offering. You know, people started hearing about it, started putting money on top of that. Uh, we had a couple businesses step up and say, we'll, we'll get involved. We'll donate some funds towards materials. And uh, from there we started addressing projects and thought it was just going to be a one-time thing and we got done with last year and all the volunteers and homeowners were like, when are we doing this again? This is awesome. This is exciting. We love working together. Neighbors were meeting one another. Uh, we actually moved some new people into the park that uh, and filled some of the vacant spots that they couldn't have filled because uh, we got it fixed up and we made the trailer something they would want to move into. And so um, that's how it began, we just with a simple com conversation between Ken and I saying what would this look like to do it. There's a lot of people here that are so marginal on income that they can maybe afford to live day to day, but they can't afford the extras they need, like uh, if a, a furnace is bad or their roof is leaking or they need their steps fixed. Um, a lot of them when they moved in here were of an age they could do some of that themselves, but now they're elderly or they're injured or they're disabled and they can't keep up with it anymore. It's important to see that, that this only happens through a lot of people getting involved and giving their time, giving their energies. And, um, you know, volunteers are awesome. I love volunteers. They, uh, every time we've done this, people show up with such good attitudes. My phone's been ringing off the hook saying, how can I help? What can I do to make a difference? Where do you need me? And that's, I just want to say thank you to all the volunteers, everyone that's stepped up and said, I want to help to the businesses that have given money to the, the, the people like EDS Waste Solutions that says, ah, we got a dumpster for you, a porta potty, just the practical things, um, to you know all the people from the churches that have, that have given funds that are volunteering, to the people that will be making lunches um, back at the church, to people driving around making sure people are being safe. I just want to say thank you to all of them because they're, you know, each one of them have made a difference and, and all of them have just stepped up and went be above and beyond what we've even imagined. Uh, some of the things we'll be working on, we're going to be uh, repairing a lot of decks, staining a lot of decks, we're going to be um, fixing leaks in people's roofs, we're going to be putting a lot of grab rails on for those that need to get in and out of their places, we're going to fix some plumbing issues, we're going to um, 
deal with some some leaks that have been happening for years in people's homes that they're putting buckets under. Um, we're going to fix those entirely. Amazing grace. Mm. How sweet Do you want to be a tool? Are you a tool? And oftentimes there's, we, we think of that as a, a negative, man, that dude's a tool. But really the reality is is, is we are tools. We're tools for God. We're, we're put into his hands and, and say, you know, I have some skills. I can run a saw. I can, I can build things. I can lay out things. Or I can paint a house. I can, I can weed someone's yard and I can be a tool. Uh, for the love of God and that's really what it's all about and just challenging people to to step up and say what's what's the tool God's made you to be uh, step in and use it be a tool uh, for him be a tool for the community be a tool for your neighbors and uh, I think that's really makes a difference well when they help me you know that's a great feeling but I think me helping other people is a better feeling because I don't want nothing back I don't want nothing this is me giving to you it helps the community, it helps people that really don't feel good about everything right now. And when they see it, it gives them faith and joy, you know, because it make, gives them hope. That's the word I'm looking for. People go out and help other people. It's not everything is bad. We are so blessed, absolutely so blessed to think that people would come and do this for a whole day on Saturday. They work so hard to do this for us, they don't even know us. What a blessing that is. This project is enabling so many people to maintain their home here and not have to go to maybe assisted living or government subsidized. And uh, it, it is heartwarming to me because for so long I did feel kind of like it was just a burden. I, you know, I, I couldn't do it all. And, and I was, it was starting to get away from me. And all of a sudden now there's, you know, renewed energy with me for helping people and, uh, uh, and able to help them do well. My passion, I would say, really is just to not only just fix places, but really love people and care for people well. And so not only volunteers working together with other volunteers that they haven't known before to build relationships, but also building relationships with homeowners that are ongoing that uh, they experience God's love, they experience the love uh, amongst the people, that they can just, you know, at the end of the day, know that they've had great people helping them that really care about them, care about their community, and care about uh, the city of Golden at large.
How does it make you feel seeing everybody out here? Like a bum. <laughs> like I'm sitting here doing nothing. I was just telling Susie how my body is so beat up I can't do any of it anymore. I've only got 30% of my eyesight left. So I'd probably be pulling flowers and everything else. <laughs> What is it, uh, give me the emotion when you think about all the people that are going to be here working tomorrow, what is that, how does that make you feel? Just gives me goosebumps, it's kind of cool, it's a rush, it's a rush and I think it's awesome. Well I just want to thank everybody as much as I can for everything they've done and, um, and thank the city of Golden for their help as well, but from the bottom of our hearts and uh, not just for me, but I know for most everyone in here who you are helping, it, uh, they are so gracious and appreciative. Thank you again. I think trust is a big deal, you know, amongst people, and it takes time, it takes energy, but you put a project in front of human beings, and something happens in the heart, something trips, and all of a sudden they're like, okay, I, I, I can do this, and I want your help, and I want your help, and together we, we can accomplish this. I'm a tool. I'm a tool. Please use me. I'm a tool. 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 These are tools, but I'm a tool. I am a tool. I am a tool. I'm 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 definitely a tool. I'm 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 a tool.